Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Jiman Park from South Korea. I'm working for Yonsei University at the Department of Prosodontics. When I first got an offer from Osteology Foundation for a lecture, I was so honored to be able to present my lecture. It was a great opportunity for all people to stand here since this World Symposium is one of the most renowned meetings. Before we get started, I would like to extend my further gratitude to my mentor, Dr. Goran Banik and Christoph Hemmerle. Fortunately, my presentation is positioned to novel topics, so the topic that I'm going to share with you today is digital scans to plan regenerative procedures. As of contemporary dental society, digital seems to be pandemic these days over the world. I'm going to specifically focus on establishing a treatment plan and cooperating with the surgeon since we have limited time. Now, let's get started. Please look at the news. They are published in Korea. See, Digital Dentist Evangelist, I've got that a lot. I really enjoy using an intraoral scanner and various CAD softwares in my clinic. Also, I've been working with many dentists in different fields to help them to get the hang of it easily in their clinic. Digital Dentist Evangelist, I've got that a lot. Back in 20 years ago, when I was a student at dental school, I was always interested in electronic gadget and digital hardware. How look I am, digital era has come to me. So after being a prosthodontist, even during prosthodontics residency, I was seeking for a better solution with digitals. I've got so many opportunities to give lectures with titles such as Accuracy and Clinical Effectivity of Intraoral Scanner, Digital Application of 3D Printers, and Integration of Intraoral and Facial Scans. Digital has been introduced into dental implants since 2012. At the Academy of Osteo Integration Annual Meeting, lectures and booth displays were using an intraoral scanner for the implant impression. Also, Janssen reported a case with a patient-specific membrane manufactured by Milling. Among the four tr new trends in digital implantology, number one, two, and three have become accessible to some extent. About customized membrane, not yet popularized. We can analyze the volume and three-dimensional range of the bone to be reconstructed in the CT image and uh, make a precise interlocking frame to cover it after GBR. This will result in fast accurate and predictable treatment. One more thing that I want to tell you is that I've used and tried many intraoral scanners as you can see on the slide. I've been using intraoral scanners to treat patients in my clinic almost like over 70% for 10 years. And as a team, our group has published so many researches on this. There are various digital devices around me, but there are much more people who help me. Professor Zhang and Cha from my university are also giving lectures here. My friends, Goran, Sven, Alexis, and Professor Merriman from the University of Zurich, and Nacho from the Computance University of Madrid here in Spain are also very grateful to help me. My colleague professors and I spend a lot of time to let the undergraduate students experience digital dentistry. We have gained a great response from several courses. The order of this presentation would be like this. Before we get into my main topic, I'd like to show you how I utilize digital devices for restorative dentistry first. As most of you do in your clinic on a daily basis, so do I, scanning 3D printing for provisionals. A certain company manufactures 3D printers which produces outcomes within 15 minutes. So, if you have this one, scanning, provisionalization, all can be done in a half hour. Even, in, even with a complicated cases such as needs retrofit for RPD, you can minimize error and reduce the time for adjustment by this sequence. The second approach, as you know, is model-free zirconia crown. I'm going to skip the detail about this because most of you are familiar with this concept but briefly, intraoral scanner is all the way enough to go for simple treatment. 
If you want to use casting method, 3D printed crown can be burned out for the lost wax technique. Let's get into the further complicated cases. Of course, we can cast even RPD metal framework by casting if you have 3D printed metal framework design. Even though the final outcome was too big, my research reveals that it's clinically acceptable. Let's apply digital method on the complete denture. It can assist the conventional way by fabricating the components of traditional method such as individual tray. These days, the discrepancy between virtual planning and manufactured denture is decreasing. Complete denture per se can be directly milled. Some people might think that 3D printed denture can be useful. However, strength is not enough yet. Denture produced by milling is way much stronger than 3D printed one. Intra-auto scanner helps me solve the problem and I could make a temporary denture to the patient who had a severe gag reflex. I can also acquire digital impression without extracting the tooth, which could be extracted at any moment during the impression. With the help of optical impression device, I could get an image of structures deep in the nose and throat. I could get his voice back again. For those who are interested in many digital uses above, please feel free to download my research articles. Here is the download link. You can get this list and my research articles from here. If you can get the 3D image of heart tissue prior to the surgery, the operation will become very easy and the result also would be excellent because of the prepared accurate template teeth. Our surgeon, who is one of my friend, and I could design and implant new artificial mandible using this segmentation and modeling process. Also, two implants in a wrong position could be surgically transferred with the help of template designed on the 3D data extracted from CT. Let's look at the digital workflow for the regenerative procedure. The fact is that we can only take DICOM file from CD scan. What if we can convert DICOM file into STL file? We do 3D segmentation process for this, and once we get the STL file of bony contour, 3D modeling of expected structure such as titanium mesh is also feasible. Let's look at the short clip here. First of all, defect site was measured and designed to the expected bony contour virtually. The area was set and the design of barrier membrane could be confirmed. Throughout all this process, titanium mesh can be customized by 3D printing with minimum gap and perfect fit. This is all I have to say today. First, I will show you various digital scans and I will talk about digital planning. I will explain it by showing you the cases of GBL using a patient-specific membrane and aesthetic mucogingival surgery using a smart design. Let's start with the digital scan. Because of the high price and radiation dose, mostly CBCTs are used for a dental clinic. Problems of CBCT are that the converted data looks like a Minecraft and it takes much time to edit outlines manually. Many scientists are trying hard to overcome these limitations. Also, artifacts effects of CBCT are getting installed by new type of CD scanner or improved reconstruction method with high computing power. Ten years ago, the intraoral scanner was big and heavy. Because the data were completed by image stitching, I had to hold my breath and push pedal cautiously to avoid shaky image. There were many data distortions. However, recently introduced scanners are small and lightweight. It is easy, fast, and accurate enough to scan even the soft tissue. 
The International Dental Show was held a month ago in Köln, Germany. I could find convenient functions such as caries detection, built-in smile design from various companies. I evaluated the performance of intraoral scanners introduced at IDS 2019 and posted the result on Facebook. This was also introduced in a guidebook written by the Korean Academy of Digitalized Dentistry. Although the performance of the intraoral scanner was, has improved dramatically, I used a model scanner and semi-adjustable articulator for the broad area of occlusion reconstruction over the complete arch. The set values for the articulator can be in entered into the virtual articulator of the CAD software to perform the same operation digitally with the lateral check bytes. I test the provisional restoration with optimal occlusion in the patient's mouth. The shape of the provisionals is accurately duplicated by double scanning of provisionals and abutment teeth. Facial scanners have begun to be used with intraoral scan data and have become more versatile. Recently, low-cost equipments are introduced and can be easily applied to the clinic. Let's focus on digital planning. The most common procedure used in the medical field is from number one to number three. However, in the dental area, there are various digital scans and they can be utilized additionally. If you want to use digital integration of various scanner, if you want to use digital integration of various scans for implant planning and digital smile design, you can use dental software as shown like this. Mimix is the most popular 3D segmentation software and has many advanced settings. Freeware also has all the necessary features, but it is difficult to manipulate. For 3D modeling, 3Matic is mostly used, but there are many dental CAD and it has many convenient and powerful functions. I use Machine Mixer for the additional adjustment. Next, I would like to talk about how to integrate various digital information. Profile photo, intraoral scan, and 3D facial scan. Even if I use each material alone, it helps me a lot. But when they are joined together in the accurate alignment, they exert tremendous power. With the patient face information, the design for aesthetic treatment becomes intuitive and easy. I'm also publishing this procedure in the journal, such as JPD, and making this one of the evidence for digital dentistry. The development of intraoral scanner technology has been rapid, and I can quickly scan my mouth by myself. Recently, we can easily get an excellent facial scan with brand new smartphone. Using this device, you can use the facial data for designing the patient's smile. You can appreciate the spatial relationship between the lips and frontal teeth, and you can also check the patient's horizontal and vertical reference line as well. If you perform those process, final outcome can be applied to the patient's real face, which drives the patient's trust to the full for you. Recently, my research team developed the device Transfer by Jig, which integrates intraoral scan data and 3D facial scan. Firstly, we got intraoral scan, but as you know, we need some reference points to merge them together. So we came up with this device. Now we get to have references. Those two separate images, facial and intraoral scan image, can be superimposed by using the same reference. So final evaluation image is like this. This video clip shows you how accurate this alignment process is. With integrated virtual patient, you can establish a treatment plan very easily because you would see the diagnostic teeth design and her face at the same time. 
Her chief complaint was that she did not like the shape of her low anteriors when she talks. By using virtual patient information, I could design new teeth that fit naturally on the patient's face. The patient was satisfied with the final result because she participated directly in the design process with me. Three major dental cat companies, 3Shape, ExoCat, and Dental Wings, provide implant planning software. Their software utilized the integrated information. Digital smile design is a treatment technique that arranges ideal tooth silhouette on top of the profile photo and discusses with the patient on the day of the visit. Initially, this process was done manually with programs like Photoshop or Apple Keynote. Because it is based on a 2D photo, it cannot be reflected in 3D CAD after the design, and you can just refer to the result only by eyes. There are three approaches to reflect smile design result directly into 3D CAD. Firstly, with the Cosan or Zerac, a 3D face can be linked with intraoral scan and you can fully utilize 3D face. Secondly, with 3Shape and ExoCAD software, 2D image is used during the smile design process with the patient. Then you have to convert 2D smile into a 3D smile through company specific technology. On the other hand, you can only refer to length and shape of 2D smile design with some software like Romaxis. With these technologies, we can plan and design while looking at the face simultaneously instead of holding the plaster model. In addition to various portable facial scanners, facial scan functions also come to be included in CBCT, which is installed in the most dental clinics. With these devices, CT, intraoral, and facial scan are automatically combined without the need for registration and alignment. In addition to the face, the motion trajectory of the mandible can be integrated. My colleague Professor Jong Eun Kim is working hard to include this feature to the digital workflow. If you utilize 3D face, the interaction between the dentist and the patient is dramatically improved. Also, the AR function is evolving and the equipment such as EvoSmile will show the patient her own design through digital mirror. I will summarize this presentation through various clinical cases. The first topic is soft tissue management by integrated digital information. To treat gummy smile, I designed the ideal smile on her profile photo. I transformed this 2D smile into 3D teeth by matching with intraoral scan data. After the 3D conversion, I defined the outline of the appliance on the arch and blocked out the undercut. Concerning the converted smile design, I set the area for gingivectomy and opened the window accordingly. I could not design the crescent shape for alveolectomy guide. For this purpose, I used the universal CAD software and used the Boolean command. Aesthetic mucogingival surgery was performed using a surgical scalpel along the internal margin of the gingivectomy guide. Gingival resection was performed with the accurate reference transferred from the planned smile. Alveolectomy was performed by marking the range of the alveolar bone resection along the inner edge of the guide. The margin of the alveolar bone was gently trimmed through an end cutting bar. The next topic is how to plan for heart tissue regeneration with integrated digital information. First of all, I converted DICOM into STL file and augmented the defect site virtually. Optimal implant position was planned. The area of membrane was set and the tags and holes were added. The drill guide for tags was also fabricated. If you don't place implant, it is more easy. After completion of the design, the membrane was manufactured by a metal printer and heat treatment. In this case, I fabricated both the implant surgical template and the membrane with the integrated digital data. After the implant placement with a surgical guide, 
mesh can be placed on top of the implants and fixed with pins. I could utilize the integrated digital scans for designing. I used the universal software for segmentation and modeling, and dental software for implant planning. I will show you the surgery with video soon. This was done by Professor Yi Won Jung from my university. It is the case of my friend Goran Benik. In Switzerland, the exos membrane is available from Geistli. Exos membrane was supported with a tent screw and was covered with another membrane. Titanium mesh should be removed before restoration procedure. This mesh can be easily removed by cutting with high speed along the center line. It is clinical view of the final restoration. Because you have to remove titanium mesh after a certain period, a bioresorbable 3D printing material, PCL, can also be used instead. Professor Ho, a friend of mine, reported the preclinical study result and the space maintaining capacity was good enough for this application. Bone to implant contact was also comparable to titanium group when the patient specific membrane was made with PCL. I designed the membrane by myself with the same methodology and sent it to the TNL Biofab company. The price of this is high, but it would be another good option for patient specific membrane. Implant was installed and a PCL mesh was placed. The membrane was fixed with minimum gap and perfect fit. I anticipate that this membrane will also be used widely in the near future. In addition to the patient-specific membrane, a customized root form implant can be used in the regeneration field. In South Korea, research is underway to build an implant that has the same shape as the patient teeth by 3D printing. Spike and lattice structures for initial fixation and surface treatment was also applied. I'm also developing equipment and materials for 3D printed zirconia superstructure on top of this patient-specific root form implant. Sometimes, the treatment for aesthetic enhancements is really demanding because the patient's expectation doesn't meet the outcome done by manual if you and your patient don't have perfect agreement. In this case, by using 3D printed template for mucogingival surgery, you and your patient can be on the same page by trying the template in the patient's mouth. Resective procedure is sometimes irreversible. We need to minimize the error. This is the day of the surgery and the healing phase a week after. It is detailed explanation about the previous presentation of customized mesh, 3D segmentation process, and recovered expected bony contour by 3D modeling. If we do the implant surgery with GBL at the same time, titanium mesh will be the key to successful surgery. Professor Zhang at my university did the surgery. The mixture of Cowell BMP and Osteon 3 was prepared for GBR. The patient-specific membrane was placed and fixed with Genos pin. After the graft material filling, the surgical site was covered with a collagen membrane P. Take home message, I showed you how to integrate digital information. 
I can say that digital planning for regenerative procedure is feasible with integrated digital scans. Thank you for your attention. Feel free to ask me at the Meet the Speakers Corner.